Hello, good evening. I'm Helen Francis from WJC, where my role is the domain leader for mathematics and science. I'm just going to speak to you briefly about literacy and numeracy in GCSE science. The key thing I would like to get across to you is that throughout our GCSE science specifications, there are plenty of opportunities to integrate literacy and numeracy into your everyday classroom teaching. First of all, if we look at literacy, in the recently introduced new specifications, QWC features. QWC stands for the Quality of Written Communication. In the QWC questions, what we're aiming to do is to assess how well the science is being communicated. There are dedicated places in the examination papers where QWC is assessed. Each QWC question is worth six marks. So on a foundation tier paper, you'll find one QWC question, and on a higher tier paper, you'll find two QWC questions. So how does QWC work? Well, basically, a best fit approach is used to assess the quality of the answer. The examiner decides firstly on the band in which the candidate is working. Are they in the top, middle or bottom band? And then a mark is awarded in that band. Each QWC question has an indicative content which is unique to that question. The indicative content contains the scientific information that is required to answer the question correctly. Whilst the generic descriptors show what is required in terms of the quality of written communication for each band. There are many examples of QWC questions available. Here is one on the effects of pollution. When I talked about the generic descriptors, here they are. These descriptors can be given to the candidates and we've got with us today on our stand and also on our website plenty of examples of candidate responses to various QWC questions. Candidates could peer assess these responses in order to develop their own skills, for example. Now, if we look at numeracy, again, there are many opportunities throughout the specifications to develop the numerical skills of the candidates. One of these involves the use of multi-stage calculations. In a multi-stage calculation, the candidate is expected to complete two or three stages. We want the candidate to clearly show their workings and to structure their answers so that it's clear how they reach their final answer. Multi-stage calculations can be assessed via the QWC approach. Here's an example involving kinetic energy and work. As I said, we've got some QWC examples on our stand in the dining hall this evening, so please come and visit us. There are also plenty more resources which can be used to develop the QWC skills of candidates on our WJC website. Here are the contact details for the Biology Subject Officer, the Chemistry Subject Officer, the Physics Subject Officer, which is me, and the Subject Support Officer. Please make sure that you use us. We're here to help you with any query you may have. Thank you.